Pisces. Hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late June 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Piscean people out there. My God, Spirit Team, talk to me about the Pisces gang. What's happening? I hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Talk to me. What's up? What energies, messages, insights do we have for Pisces in late June? It is cancer season, so it's a fellow water sign season. Hopefully, we got some good stuff going. And, yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, pull you a bonus card from the Shadowlands Arrow. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. Let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Pisces. Please, let's get this first card going. What do we have? Yeah, quick, very quick. Okay, we have the Alchemist here. Hmm, very intriguing. This is a big focus type of energy. It's a creative energy as well, and it's just powerful. Okay, and we're going to have to discuss this. I always like when the Alchemist shows up in the very first card because it tells me there's something that could have a lot of potential. Um, but there's also this huge focus on something as well. Now, before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the June subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk a little bit more about this alchemist. So if you look at the imagery here, we see this bald individual. He has the alchemical symbol for the sun right on the third eye, the forehead. So it does speak of illumination. And notice he is looking at that potion that's in his hand, highly focused on it. So a couple things always come to mind when I see this. First and foremost, there might be something, a situation, a person or a task or something that has a lot of your attention right now. This could also represent someone having their attention on you. So keep that in mind. You might be under someone's microscope when this card shows up. It's not necessarily a bad thing. But another thing I always say about this card is the potential for creation, the potential for manifestation, because this alchemist worked very hard to get this potion where it needs to be. Okay, um, For some of you, maybe there is something you need to focus more on as well. Okay, whether, whether you are focused on something or not, maybe you need to pay a little better attention to something in, in specific. And again, that also reminds me of the Hermit. So if you're connected to a Virgo, they could be showing up as well. But we're just going to leave that alchemist right there. Let's get into Tarot. And I always say the first card doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. Let's get it going, though. Let's get you three Tarot cards in the upright. Then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. Shuffle it up one time here for my Piscean people, my guides. Talk to me. What do we got here? in late june and while we shuffle this up let's talk about last week's reading it was titled a surprising change now i always say that life is pretty much perpetual change but the way this was coming through last week it didn't necessarily feel bad it just felt like a situation taking on a whole new energy or just something shifting or changing real quick out of nowhere so just know that that energy could still bleed over for the next couple of weeks keep your eyes peeled but we're going to see what shows up this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So when we take this out, it's for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. Let's get it going. What do we got here for Pisces, please? Three cards for my good friends. What is happening? Gods and spirit. Nice and quick. Thank you. Strength card. Good. That's a pretty good way to start. I mean, that's someone's intentions at least being in a good place. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that a little more. Let's get a couple more out here because that card has a lot of layers to it. Let's see what's happening. Cute. Ten of Pentacles. All right. So we're starting pretty darn good. Let's get one more out here after this. And we'll start piecing this all together. Very grounded. Lots of potential abundance here already. And we have the Nine of Swords. So it's going to be a little bit of a mixed bag. And that's all good because life is a mixed bag, right? Every, not everything is always easy. This could be talking about sleep as well. But let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes. Then we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, we have an interesting mixture of things happening this week, Pisces. Elementally, we have some fire. We have some earth. We have some air showing up. So this could be different situations. It could be different aspects of the same situation. It all really depends. I will say the front end, we're starting off from a really good, solid place. But the back end, it might be a little stress-induced. So for a portion of you, if you're cool, if everything's fine, this might be someone you're linked to that's not really going through a good time. 
or that could be flipped. It all really depends. But let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out. So position number one, we have the strength card, Leo energy. So some of you might be connected to Leo. That doesn't always have to be the case. And when I see the strength card, I don't think of physical strength. It's not about your muscles. It's not about like how, many, how much weights you can lift. It's more about your internal strength, your strength of character, who you are as an individual. It's fighting one's own demons with love as opposed to brute force. And another thing with this card, it could represent um, bettering yourself or self-actualization. So this could be a really nice card. I always say there's a little bit of a warning whenever strength shows up, because to me, it's like, all right, you might be tested in one way or another. OK, so whether it's a test of your morals, whether it's a test of your integrity, a test of some kind, especially if there's something you're refraining from or something you're trying to improve. When a strength card shows up, you might be tested on that. Spear might say, OK, well, you, you seem like you've made progress. Let's see how much progress you've made, Pisces. So just something to keep in mind. Um, and in its negative sense, because I always like to mention the positive and challenge of every card. There's so many positives to strength. It's an angelic card as well, but it can also represent caving on some, okay, or like uh, reverting in one way or another. So we'll see when we clarify it. Moving to the center, we have a lovely energy, one of the best in the whole deck, if you ask me. We have the Ten of Pentacles, beautiful stuff. Again, uh, this is a card of happy endings. This is a card of wins. It's a card of victories coming out on top, right? It's a very sturdy, solid, stable type of energy for a portion of you. There could be certain things around your living situation, your home, whether you're redecorating, changing where you live, maybe you're cool where you're at. But that could be here with the Ten of Pentacles. Could be something uh, regarding the family here, but I don't get negative vibes from this. So we'll need to clarify for sure. The positives of this, it could represent growth in regards to finance and money. It could represent level up energy in general. So we really like this Ten of Pentacles here. When we get to the challenging aspect, it's very similar to challenges with all earth cards. It could represent problems. It could represent roadblocks. It could represent a stubborn energy that's not moving how you like it. So we'll see what's up with that. I mean, with the way the energy is flowing, like, yeah, there might be a test that play or there might be something that pops up that really, um, I don't want to say it's going to test your reserve or anything until we clarify. The Ten of Pentacles, I'm not ever going to turn it into a challenge unless I see a clarifier that tells me so. Now, when we get to the back end, we have the Nine of Swords, and you see that person, I say this is one of the cards in tarot, you don't need to be an expert to understand what it means. We have this person in bed, they got the hands on the face, they're stressing, anxious, nervousness, so it does include things like that, like someone having problems um, and just really stressing something here. So we'll want to look into this further for sure. Um, so whether this is something that's a problem or an issue that's yet to be seen. But another thing, I there's a few other things I always link to this card. One could be sleep. So for a lot of Pisces in this time, I know I don't have to tell my fellow Pisceans that we enjoy to take a rest or a nap sometimes, but you might be finding it harder than usual to sleep solid. Um, you might be having really interesting dreams that spirit wants you to pay attention to. Watch out for insomnia. There could be various situations around sleep when the Nine of Swords is here. It's also an extremely paranormal card. And everyone knows Pisces energy is very uh, sensitive to energy. So when I see this here, just know, like you might be picking up on things a little more so than normal when it's in the mix. So we have a complex little bit of energy to deal with throughout this whole entire reading Pisces. Let's get that Nine of Swords back where it belongs. I want to dive deeper on all this. Let's do it. Let's jump in and clarify. Okay, let's get a good shuffle here. What do we got for Pisces, my guys, please? What is going on? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on strength. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Pisces, you could drop it down in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, strength. What's happening? Quick. Super, super quick. Okay. I mean, we have the King of Swords in reverse underneath the strength card. I feel... All right, now everyone says, and I'm not talking bad about Pisces energy because most of you probably already know that I'm Pisces rising myself. And Pisces energy can be tolerant to an extent, if that makes sense. We are a mutable sign. 
very good at going with the flow, rolling with punches. But when I see the strength card with the King of Swords in reverse, like it tells me that for a lot of you, your tolerance for nonsense or your tolerance for certain things in this time could be much lower than normal. Okay. Now I'm not saying that as a warning. I mean, maybe you've decided in your mind that you're not going to deal with this. You're not going to deal with that. And I'm putting my foot down here. I'm just getting like a very, a much stricter energy than what I'm normally used to with Pisces. Okay. So whether that's you or somebody else, like it feels like it's very strict in its ways. Like this is how it's done. This is how it has to be. This is what I accept. This is what I don't take that for what it's worth. Now I will say this as well. The fact that we have the King of Swords air sign energy, um, it's a determined card. It could represent analytical thinking, planning, uh, strategy. So when I see it in reverse underneath the strength card, again, there there could be some tests that spirits throw in your way, especially with the unplanned variety, like things that, whether it's like learning how you can roll with the punches, how you shift. So just know there might be some like unexpected or surprising tests that are going to happen that spirit's going to throw your way. But again, aside from that, the main message I'm picking up on this, like your tolerance for BS is going to be way, way lower than normal. So just know you might not be as patient as you usually are. Let's keep moving over. Let's keep moving. So why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Pisces? Told you, like this one feels layered, that's for sure. Thank you. Cool. Big improvement. And... For some reason, this energy to me feels like it's skyrocketing, like explosive win or victory type of energy. Even though we don't have the fire air mixture happening, we have the five of pentacles in reverse underneath the ten of pentacles. So you want to talk about opposite energies. That's what we have here, because whereas the five of pentacles is like somebody out in the cold, they're lonesome, they're lonely, they're destitute, uh, could talk about money problems. It is flipped in reverse underneath one of the best cards in the whole entire deck. So I feel for a lot of you, like a challenge or a negative or a situation that was a problem is soon going to flip into a victory and it's going to happen rather quickly, which I know is bizarre when we're talking about like pinnacle energy, but that's just how it feels to me. Like this energy is flipping on its head quick. So for some Pisces, there could be an explosive win of some sort where it goes from zero to a hundred. That's a very similar energy I've been picking up throughout the Zodiac, but for like different situations, especially like if there's anything around like money, business, work, I'm just feeling like exponential, fast, quick growth. So now is a time of expansion for a lot of the Pisces. I would claim this expansive energy right here in the, in the center. For a lot of you, um, you might be spending a little more time around people and family and groups in this time as well. If you are feeling a little lonesome, if you're feeling a little isolated or there's solitude, like, hey, there's, I feel like there's energetic support coming into like, uh, connect with you, if that makes sense. So we're going to keep moving again. Explosive win, exponential growth, very expansive, claimable energy here in the center. Love it. Let's see what's up with that nine of swords. And we'll go through, do a quick recap before we get into the shadow card. So why is that nine of swords here for my lovely Piscean people? What's going on? Thank you. Six of Swords in reverse, huh? Yeah, this could be something for somebody trying to revisit. Um, Six of Swords in reverse generally speaks about something returning, okay? And I don't necessarily feel like this is a lot of your energy, so just keep this in mind. When I see the Nine of Swords or the Six of Swords in reverse, it's like some of you could want to relive something or something to return. That's possible. But I, for a lot of you, I feel like this energy is kind of like outside of you. Um, with the Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords in reverse, this could be a person you're connected to where they're not doing too great, they're not doing too hot, they're like stressed and anxious or nervous or whatever you want to call it, and they're not really progressing. So that might be a little concerning to you, right, especially if it's somebody close to you where it's like, okay, well, you kind of been like this for a while, things don't seem to be getting better, are you okay? Like, it's giving me that kind of energy, so... Take that for what it's worth. And again, for a portion of you, there might just be something that's going to return or revisit on you. So just keep that in mind. Let's go through and do a quick recap here because we have a lot of messages and energies that I don't normally see in a Pisces reading. So let's go through and we'll get into the shadow card. If you kindly look in the box, position number one, we have the strength card with the King of Swords in reverse. The first message that came through very strong here for Pisces, your tolerance for any sort of nonsense or BS could be very, very, very low. 
I see a much stricter energy than I'm used to experiencing as a Pisces myself, where it's like, it has to be like this, it has to be like that. We need to do it by the book. It's like very regimented type of energy. So if that's not you, that could just be someone you're connected to that's just very strict in their ways. Moving to the center, love what I'm feeling here. Maybe there is a reason, uh, there's a method to that energy we have in the front end, getting serious about something. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles in reverse said this felt like explosive wind energy to me where the energy just flips and it's exponential it's expansive and it's growing and it's growing quick so i say now is a great time for any sort of business work career thing especially if you do have some isolated feelings uh, now is a great time to socialize moving to the back end we have the nine of swords with the six of swords in reverse there could be something that's going to revisit you in this time or return but another vibe i was getting here is you might be concerned about somebody um, there's like a stressed, anxious, nervous type of energy. And it's like, okay, well, it's been like this for a while and I'm not seeing an improvement. So just know there might be someone that you're a little concerned about or they're concerned about you. So please do with that information what you will. Let's get you a shadow card here, Pisces. Lots of stuff there, lots of stuff happening. So let's see what's in the shadows for my Pisces collective. Guides and spirit team, what's going on? And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see it doesn't always have to be a bad thing sometimes shadow cards can be really nice so let's get you one what is in the shadows for pisces and yes if you've made it to this point in the reading please feel free to check out channel memberships i'll put a link for it in the comments below it's a beautiful way to support the channel and i have much love for all my channel members okay what is happening why do we what's in the shadow quick very first shuffle so these cards have been coming out like crazy three of swords in the shadows so this is not an uncommon card to have in the shadows that's the one thing i will say even though it's depicted a little differently in this deck it's one of the more iconic cards with the heart and the three swords cutting through it i'm sure you've seen it on all, all sorts of clothing and posters and merchandise the three of swords can be a tough energy and it could link exactly into what we had over here where there might just be somebody like whether you're experiencing it or not they might be really going through a tough one Okay, they might be struggling with something because the Three of Swords is always on a spectrum. It could be something that's very minor, like anxiety, like stress, like nervousness, or it could be major. It could be something like heartbreak. So when it shows up in the shadows, I always say, like, a lot of humans, a lot of people out there, we experience these feelings, but we don't always show it. We don't wear our heart on our sleeve. So for some of you, this Three of Swords energy could be something that's really good to take a look at in this time. Any pa uh, past hurts, past pains, now could be a great healing time for you. Or this is just somebody you're connected to that's going through a difficult time, even if they're not trying to let it let on to it. So I would say overall, most of the reading for you is very positive. I see the Three of Swords in the shadows all the time for people, so it's nothing to get like super concerned about. It just feels like a little bit of baggage, right? So do with that what you will as well, Pisces. That's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the June subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, my digital calendar is open on mastermetaphysics.com, so go ahead and check that out. And if you got your name in for the May subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced after this weekend's readings. But for the June subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks, the Gilded Tarot Royale. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments if you could snap your fingers and visit anywhere in the world right now. Where would it be? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you soon.